Alright, we're here with one of the sickest bands from the UK, Bullet For My Valentine. We're on their tour bus just outside the Phoenix Concert Theatre. How are you doing guys? Good, hi. Lady, hi. Yeah. Alright, um, well, just to start off, how has this mini tour with Escape the Fate and the Confession been going so far, and how are all the bands getting along? What gear is it? It's just drinking. Party in proper. It's all good. We're getting on great with the other two bands. Yeah. We like to treat our support bands, you know. It's, it's like uh, we'd like to be treated, you know. Yeah. We wasn't that uh, well treated. <laughs> well treated. Well treated. Well treated. <laughs> so. All right. Well, in January, you guys began recording songs for your second full-length record. Was it just recording that you began, or were you writing new material at this point still? It's kind of both. We had like. 12 songs going in for the new record, but all you know, in true bullet style, we we'll go into a studio and then we'll have a drink or you know, yeah. whatever. And then ideas will, ideas ideas will never stop coming out because, like, ultimately, it's just a machine. I want to have, yeah. I mean, we have to write songs and ideas just, just get influenced anywhere. So, so there was two brand new songs which come in the studio, which are going to definitely make the record anyway. There's about six hour scrapped. Yeah. Quite a bit of writing. Alright, well, how has the recording process been going? Is it near completion? And how would you compare the experience to when you recorded the, your debut, The Poison? Um, what was the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how has the recording process been going? And is it near completion? And uh, how would you compare the experience when you recorded your first album? Okay, I think. Um, Musically, it's done. I think um, Matt's got to do vocals for the whole record, and Paj has to do um, like three or four solos. Yeah. Well, and then, the, then it's done. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> and then I think this one was, uh, for me, more weird than recording The Poison. It was strange. Because we were in like, El Paso, we done in Texas, so there was nothing around. And then it took three weeks just to fucking. Drums. I mean, it was a week to fit in a snare drum and stuff like that. So. It's strange because when we do our demos, I mean, we go in and we do like three songs in a day. Yeah. It'll yeah. just take three weeks to do like 13 tracks. It's good though, but we'll definitely do it again. <laughs> okay, well, for this new record, you were recording, you were in uh, Sonic Branch Studio near El Paso, Texas. Has being in North America when recording differed at all from recording in England? Yeah, the steak is better. <laughs> yeah, steak's better, but it's kind of similar because we recorded our EP and our album in this like place in England, and, um, and it was just in the middle of nowhere, and it's probably exactly the same thing, but just in El Paso, yeah. just in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of used to being. I mean, you you only you only really get to see the studio on like the living quarters anyway because they look, like he says these places are so far out in the middle of nowhere yeah. I mean you can't walk to any rush store. No it's nothing, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing to do but I'll drink. <laughs> Alright well I'm assuming that you're not going to go commercial or anything with this new album so will it compare in sound or style to your previous work? I reckon it's just if you like the last album you're gonna like this one. It's exactly the same as the last one. <laughs> it's, it's still it's, it's a, I think it's a better pull of my bottle. It is better record. But people try to say like, oh what's it like is it heavier? Is it it's not heavier. In parts I guess it's heavier, but it's just like the last one, but better. Right. Um you guys are aiming to have this disco by the fall, right? Um, well, are you on schedule? And can you give us any teasers like the album titles, song titles, or anything else? Uh, we have one song called Scream, Aim, and Fire, which we we play in on the tour. Well, as an album name, we haven't got one yet. <laughs> Most of the lyrics are not even wrote yet. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Matt's only written like, lyrics for like three songs out of 14. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no doubt, after you guys exploded all over the world, mad touring for the Poison ensued. Uh, being a fairly new band, was it hard for you guys to tour so much, so soon, and what do you think about life on the road in general? I, I love going on the road because when we're home, 
it's nice to be home, but then three days after you're home, it's just like, I want to go back on tour, I want to do something. It's just get used to it. Then. Yeah. This What's is you, more yeah. of a, a life for us than a regular life is for normal people. You know? This, this is us. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, your October 2005 debut, The Poison, uh, no doubt met the demands of the fans and industry people alike. Did it meet your demands as musicians? I thought, personally, it's not that good of a record. I think at the time, for us all, it, it did push us quite a bit. Yeah. And I think it kind of set us on a clearer path of where and what we can we were gonna go and yeah. we were gonna be, yeah. But I you think we could have written better songs. I think. Well, that's why we wrote this new record, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to beat the last one. Do you think it'll tough, be tough to beat, or are you going to blow it out of the water with your new one? I think it's gonna. This new song, you know, like musician-wise, songwriting-wise, it's just a better record. Um, well, it's definitely arguable that uh, as of late, you guys are the biggest and best rock slash metal band to hail from England. How does it feel to hold the title and represent your homeland in front of so many other countries? It's wicked. I mean, we, we just like see ourselves like we just see like Judas Priest and I made. Mean, so I mean, we're British too. So it's nice to be kind of up there with them. I'm not saying we're up, you know, you know up there with them, but hopefully <laughs> in 20 years we will be like seen as like. What we see right. Well, uh, things are no doubt going extremely well for you guys right now. Tell, uh, can you tell me briefly what do you have planned for this, for after this tour, and ultimately the rest of the year? Oh, we show them that. Yeah, we go home. Matt does vocals for the record, finishes the record. Then we have two shows in Metallica, one in Austria, one in London. Um, then we go to Australia and Japan. I think Europe and Britain and Europe, Britain and Europe, and then back here. And so like by the end of the year, that's probably it. And then the new year starts. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, hey. So we don't stop reading them. <laughs> Never ends. Oh, our no, album gets released in fucking October. <laughs> October. October. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the interview, guys. Uh, nice meeting you. Thank you very yeah. much. No problem. We're good. Yeah. You heard it first here on puregrainaudio.com. So check out Bullet for My Valentine.